The idea of a premium Chromebook has been around for about as long as Google's notebook brand itself, but it's an idea that's rarely been able to succeed. We could talk all day reflecting on what went wrong in the past, but today, the Asus Chromebook Flip is the answer you've been waiting for to satisfy your premium Chromebooking needs. While it doesn't reach the same level of performance of something like the Google Pixelbook, it costs half as much while offering specs nearly identical to its competitors, but for a much more affordable price tag. It's not hard to see why the Asus Chromebook Flip succeeds without having to compromise. We bought the Asus Chromebook Flip for testing on Amazon from the official sellers, and if you want to get the same experience that we did, we highly recommend that you buy from the same place. Links will be in the description. If you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe. What makes the Chromebook Flip even more impressive is that it boasts a 360-degree hinge that lets it flip inside out, hence its name. At 12.5 inches and 2.6 pounds, the Asus Chromebook Flip isn't just good for a Chromebook, it might just be one of the best laptops you can buy, depending on your needs. With an overall footprint of 11.9 by 8.3 by 0.59 inches, the Asus Chromebook Flip is deceivingly compact. Each time I picked up the 2.65 pound all aluminum device, I was pleasantly surprised at just how loud the design screams, take me with you. Touch typists will enjoy using the Chromebook Flip's keyboard. I know I do. The keys have very little travel, just 1.4 millimeters, which makes quickly typing out a long email or report a breeze. The touchpad includes palm rejection and responds well to a tap or press. The standard lined up Chrome OS shortcut keys for changing brightness, multitasking, search, and volume controls line the top of the keyboard. From front to back on the left side of the housing is a speaker grill, 3.5mm headphone jack, power button, volume controls, and a USB 3.1 Type-C port. The right side offers up another speaker grill, a micro SD card reader, and another USB 3.1 Type-C port. The good news about an all USB-C laptop is that either port can be used for charging. The bad news is you'll likely need to purchase a dongle or two to connect a smartphone or external monitor to it. Yep, the hinges of the Chromebook Flip fold 360 degrees, making it possible to convert the Flip into what amounts to a tablet, or you can put it into tent mode to binge on YouTube videos. The hinges do a good job holding the display in place when in its various modes, but I do wish they were slightly stiffer. When using the Flip in standard laptop mode, the screen wobbles as I type on the keyboard and it's distracting. The 12.5-inch FHD backlit LED display is covered in Corning Gorilla Glass for added protection. I found the touchscreen to be responsive and lacking any performance issues. As for looks, the display is sharp and is plenty bright. When I reviewed Dell's Chromebook 13 almost two years ago, I was surprised at how much of my work I could do in Chrome OS without any compromise. Things have only improved since. At this point, many people will be able to get by easily with just a Chromebook. So much of our lives run through a browser these days that not having native apps just isn't a deal breaker anymore. Of course, there are plenty of people who need more power and flexibility than a Chromebook provides. The Flip isn't for them. You can't edit 4K video, or really any video at all, and there still isn't a great native photo editor for Chrome OS. If you need to store a lot of files locally, the 64GB hard drive will prove inadequate. If you find Chrome OS to be too limiting, access to the many apps in the Google Play Store might help you locate the software your Chromebook needs. I've been playing around with Android on Chrome OS for about a year now, and what I've decided is that for the most part, you're better off sticking with web apps. There's no real reason to install the Facebook app over just opening the site in your browser, for example. But if there's a specific piece of software that isn't on the web, the Play Store can often close that gap. I'm a Lightroom user, so I installed Adobe's mobile Lightroom app, and now I can edit photos on a Chromebook. It's not perfect. I still haven't found a good way to watermark photos when using Chrome OS, but it's a lot better than other options. Microsoft's Office apps for Android are surprisingly robust and work well on a desktop. You'll just need to shell out for an Office 365 subscription to use them. Android apps are also useful if you want to take things offline. Installing the Android Netflix or Google Play movies and TV apps means you can download shows and watch them on a flight. Similarly, you can save playlists and albums through the Google Play Music and Spotify apps for Android. And you'll be able to edit those Office docs while offline as well. Chromebooks, like most modern computers, are still much more useful with an internet connection, but at least you don't have to stow your Chromebook away and forget about it when you're on a cross-country flight. Probably the biggest catch here is that most developers design their apps for phones and rarely take larger screens into account. It's the same thing that has doomed Android tablets. 
Occasionally, it's nice to have a small vertical app slice on the side of your screen, but it would be great if more apps had a better full screen experience. Powered by an Intel Core M3 processor, 64GB of eMMC storage, and 4GB of memory, the Flip is well equipped for most computing scenarios. Naturally, I'd love to see more RAM to eliminate any potential performance hiccups, but an increase in RAM would lead to an increase in price. And well, I'm not so sure the Flip suffers much in the way of performance. I'd wager for most Chromebook users, 64GB of storage is more than enough. If not, a micro SD card reader makes it easy to add some local storage. Otherwise, there's always Google Drive. Speaking of which, Asus and Google will add 100 gigabytes of storage to your Google Drive account through the Chromebook Promotions website. In nearly every single test, the Chromebook Flip blew the similarly priced Acer Chromebook 15 away. The Flip cut the amount of time the Chromebook 15 needed to complete the Kraken test in half, going from 3,043 milliseconds to 1,626 milliseconds. The battery life of the Chromebook is also pretty great. Not only is the Core M3 chip very power efficient, but Chrome OS has a knack for lasting longer than comparable Windows laptops. In my experience, the Chromebook usually tops out at 6-7 to seven hours of usage. Again, this can vary greatly depending on your workflow. The aspect that surprised me the most wasn't the performance, build quality, software, or even battery life. It was the charging speed. Every laptop I've ever owned always took hours to fully charge, and the Chromebook blows all of them out of the water. The included charger has a maximum speed of 20 volts by 2.25 amps, which tops off the laptop's battery at blisteringly fast speeds. Thanks to the Chromebook's power efficiency, even the charger from my 2016 Pixel can top up the Chromebook at a decent rate. The Asus Chromebook Flip is a great laptop for people that can do without legacy desktop applications or anyone looking for a secondary computer. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of more expensive laptops, but it's fast and has great battery life. It's also built to last. I should know. I've had it for a year. While the Pixelbook is still unquestionably the best Chromebook money can buy, this is perhaps the best value Chromebook. More than that, it might be one of the best value laptops, period. We bought the Asus Chromebook Flip for testing on Amazon from the official sellers, and if you want to get the same experience that we did, we highly recommend that you buy from the same place. Links will be in the description. If you liked this video, remember to click like and subscribe.